Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a clean and decorate with me video. It is 70 degrees here on the day we filmed this video. And I decided to go ahead and open the windows and let the fresh air in as we clean. And I mean clean as in we, my husband and I. So he'll be joining me in this video as we clean the space. We just came back from a seven day vacation during the time we recorded this. So we definitely had to come in and do some cleaning. Unfortunately, I went back to work. So I had to uh, wait a couple of days before we got our house and our life back together. And my husband just walked through messing with me saying, why well, use the small vac knowing it's not picking up anything. So he said, show me. And I showed him this vacuum is working. So this is this, the Eureka stick vac. I just shared it in the collab I did with Eureka a couple of weeks ago, and I have been enjoying using this stick vac, cordless stick vac. Let me add that. And uh, the funny thing is I ended up having to use the larger vac because I did not charge this one. So I'll be swapping it out a little later in the video. Usually when I'm cleaning and decorating, I'll turn the TV on and I'll either listen to my favorite television show or I watch it. But my husband likes to listen to music, so he's turning on his YouTube playlist and we're going to listen to music and get our cleaning done. As you can see, I have a lot of clothes in the kitchen area. I washed and folded my clothes in there and a lot of them I hung on hangers. I just had not put them up. So I got that part caught up on and now, of course, you can see I am enjoying the music. I have a lot of friends and family, uh, people I know ask, how do I get my husband to help me clean up? Uh, it was a requirement I had when we met and it was also something that he was used to doing and didn't mind doing either. So if I, I think if he wasn't the type that would offer to clean or help me cook and clean, then I would definitely, I'm the type of person, hey, can you help me wash dishes? Can you clean up? Can we sit down and talk about how you can contribute to helping keep the house looking and feeling like a home? So I think you have to start with the conversation first, just like with dating, just like with finances, you have to have those conversations and I don't mind talking to mine about it. Now, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I do not speak on other people's relationship. If someone asks me a question, I will tell them how I deal with my situation. I don't say, oh, I wouldn't date a person who doesn't help me clean. That's not how I would partake in that conversation. My whole conversation will be how I manage to get my husband to help. And just a little side note, what works for me may not work for you and what worked for you may not work for me and this morning before my husband came home from the fire department i actually went through my kitchen cabinets and well i went through the glassware so I, those two boxes you see on the floor those are actually some glassware that are going to goodwill so I was able to narrow some things down my husband looked in the box and he saw two plastic cups that he wanted to keep so I had to pull them out and here you can see this is accumulated accumulation of dust from I would say nine ten days just dust so yeah we had to get it done So 
so this is the little pile of dirt from the kitchen as well as the staircase. My husband swept that area and I'm just going to use the stick vac to clean it up. It wasn't too bad in that area. I guess my area that I cleaned was pretty bad because those are the areas where the door is opening and closing. So I'm sure the dust is just trickling in. All right, so it's a few days later and I'm going to go ahead and add some flavor to those new dispensing jars that I received uh, in a recent collab. I do have links to those. I'll leave them in the description. But I decided to put two labels on these. We're going to use the white labels and I'll turn them to the back and then we're going to use the black labels because I have a lot of black going on over here and I feel like the black would be cute. So anytime I want to change them, I can just turn the bottle around to give it a different look on the front. And I get all of my coffee syrups from TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Ross, and even Marshalls. They have the best price to me. I've seen the small bottles for $7.99 and the larger bottles for $14.99 at Kroger's. I can get a large bottle of the coffee syrup from any of the TJ Maxx Rosses anywhere from $5.99 to $7.99. So that's a big savings. And I always get the sugar free. I started using the sugar free coffee syrup a couple of years ago, and I have not been able to tell the difference in what's sugar free and what's not. But I do know that I'm cutting back on some calories using the sugar free. I'm going to add a few little snacks over here to the coffee bar and these are those chocolate covered Oreo cookies. They are absolutely delicious. A lot of calories, but I still want them. And I love the way these stick cookies look in the jar and some of them were broken. So what I did was I stacked all of the the ones that weren't broken in the front and I just piled the ones that were broke right behind them so it'll still stand up and look really neat and they are absolutely delicious with coffee. And now I'm going to refill my matcha. Actually, I'm a little low. I need to buy some more. I picked this up from Whole Foods. All right, so let's go ahead and decorate the dining area and then we'll move into the entryway. All right, so some of the pieces I'll be sharing are going to stand out because I recently purchased them and I shared them in a recent haul. So I'll share that video in the link if you're interested in seeing where what those items are if you haven't seen those videos. And as I stated in that haul, this floral arrangement or greenery, I'm going to lay it in because I want you to see it from a different angle. And these three vases are new purchases. I did share them in that haul as well. But later on in the video, I'm going to share some more items that I picked up from that boutique. It's actually a floral shop. So I'm going to share with you some more items later in the video. But I'll be using those other items outdoors to decorate my front porch for spring.
So I pretty much put the white up front and let the black in the background just to uh, kind of draw your eyes to the white and the creaminess that's going on in the front just for spring. And then dark colors will, you know, they will work year round. So I just added the white, the few little white items up front just to give that spring appearance. Over here on the sofa, I have my two color pillows on the outside and my two different creamy color pillows in the front or the middle. Over here, just one little throw ball pillow along with a decorative accent pillow that's drawn that sea foam blue or Tiffany blue into the space. Over here, I just went with the cream and gold through a little floral arrangement over on the side table. And over here, everything is really gold and white on the table. I just added this little Easter egg on the table. Of course, we have a bunny. Our, I used this little box to house our posters, have a little scented Easter bunny along with a candle. And this is actually the lid that goes to this decorative box. I'm just using it like that. We're going to put it right back here, just like so. Over on the bookshelf, I'm keeping it simple, just gold cream, gold, and a little bit of greenery. That's all we have going over here, just cream and gold. Or Okay, don't have the TV on, still in the same place, doesn't hurt anything. So I still need to add my art here. I'll hang that sometime tonight. And this is how this little candy area coffee bar is looking. It actually look cute. I don't know if it's showing up well on the camera, but I had coffee this morning, so the back, please. But yeah, that's that. Nothing really changed over here. Still an unstocked bar. Grandbaby toy at the end of the hall. But look, y'all. I have nightstands. And I also have a promo item. So let's look in here. Now, in the kitchen, that's my little computer. I have a plant, I'm about to put it up in this one too, so I've watered them in the sink. Empty, that's my uh, paper towel holder. I actually have a one that's going to go inside the cabinet. So once we move into this area, but I'm going to unbox that. I'm doing another collab with Yeedy. You know, I absolutely love it their um robo vac that is the large one so i can't wait to unbox it try it out i'll share that in another video i'm also going to unbox these in another video these are some items i picked up oh i forgot about the little bunny so we'll put her out and i also have these i'm going to add these these are some i already had i'm going to add those too the uh, front door pick these up from walmart walmart i picked this up from the little boutique and i got two of those i'm going to hang them on the door two of those and I have also picked up some ribbon, but I had him make me two bows. So this one, one is going to go on the door and I'm, I plan to do it like that, add a little floral to it if you can see that. There's gonna be cute on the door. Got two of those now. You buy the ribbon from, from them and they'll make you a bow. Of these, this is one of the ribbons I bought. I love this y'all. It's really cute. It's that. It's really pretty. I picked that up. And I just told them. I picked I picked out my ribbon. And I was like, I hope it looks good. 
together. There's one. Oh, here's the other. And here's the other ribbon. It's two-sided. So, and I got enough to put some ribbon around my little bunny. So, this bunny is going to go outside, y'all. Say hi. But, yeah, that's going outside. And this is how this area is going to stay. I did not like those yellow pillows in here. And just an update. So, we pulled the TV down and we... uh put the smaller cord on the back, but it's still not where it needs to be. I don't like the cord now hanging like that. It is a cord, an outlet plug behind the TV. We are going to have to have the electrician push, push the outlet plug back into the wall, create a little plug and it'll be housed some kind of way. I don't like plugs showing and I don't even like the white strips showing. Sorry, I just don't. I would, now if this TV had an outlet down here, I would put a hole in the wall behind the TV, run it down the wall and plug it down on the bottom before I would let the white strip show. Cause that will bother me too. So some people do it, they like it, it will bother me. So that plug is bothering me. That's why I have that kind of flank to the side. And I actually have a green cord plugged up over there too. I was going to kind of tape it to the wall, that white plug to the wall and kind of hide all of that. But I'm not going to do that. We're just going to do it the right way. I was going to do that temporarily until we get them over here. But no, we're just going to go ahead and do it the right way because that is bothering me. So over in this area, I just went with the these pillows. I've used them in this area before and I love them. Just simple. These pillows, I got these from West Am last year, I believe. So I'm just going with a, a simple, this color is more like a taupe color with white or cream. It's not, it's like an off-white. It's not cream, it's actually off-white. So I wanted to lighten it up some in this area. And of course, this floor arrangement I've had for a couple of years and I just stuck some more floor stems in it actually got another a couple more of these i'm going to add to them to that as well i'll add a light color throw blanket over there and over here i just purchased this like yesterday and i didn't know it was glass and guess what i let the grandbaby play with it thinking it was plastic and it broke so that's that that's how that's looking over there it's a little dark in here. I'm sorry, I didn't turn the light on. And y'all know I don't usually have this out. I'm going to show this little area again. I took all my table place setting up and here I took, this used to be on top of the kitchen cabinets and I swapped it out and put the white one up there. And the white one makes a big difference. So this is more like a vlog i would say but i feel so much better just as soon as i got my house together the furniture arrived which those two boxes are going to cause a lot of mess because i have to go through my nightstands in order to be able to put those out so just when i got the house in order after our trip and a lot of times I'll set things on the end, bottom of the step that needs to go upstairs. And right now, this is all I have that needs to go upstairs, which is these two sconces. And this is how I store my pillows. I hang them up on these kid hangers and I hang them in the closet upstairs. Actually, the closet that's in my office. I do plan to tour with, you, uh, share that area with you all, but I originally was going to use these down here which they work really, really good. They just don't go with that. That's too busy for me mentally. Like this point in my life, I feel like anything that's too busy kind of work my nerve. So it blends here, but I didn't want to do that. So we just kept it simple. So these are going to go back upstairs and the thing I, I tell everybody, I'm no longer at the point where I need, um, pillow inserts. I just need pillow covers. If I do anything, I'm actually going to start selling 
some of my pillow inserts. And over on the, on the floor, I do have that cord pulled out because that white cord, I swapped them out. And so I need to tuck that and run it under the rug. You don't even see it, but if you can see now, it is sticking out. So I'll correct that. But the next, I guess, our spring tour, you'll see all of those little things done. Yep. So just when I came in, I was like, oh, my house is clean again. Those two big boxes arrived, but I had this in here. I wanted to show you all. Um, where's the little bunny? Here's the little bunny. So I'm going to put this in here. Maybe not right there though. I'll just put it over here for now. Right there, it's got that little green on. But I'm going to do the front porch. It's finally sunny outside. It was sunny yesterday and today, except yesterday it was so cold. Yeah, that's how the areas look. And I still need to hang the two pictures here. And yeah, this is how it's looking. And can't wait to get this table that is not going to that um yeti the small yeti vac it's not going to stay in here it's actually going to go in the laundry room and replace this table i was going to do something really cute and funky in here but since i put the light fixture in the kitchen nook i'm probably i'm going i know i'm going to do something totally different in here as well as the light fixture too so we're back to square one, still need a dining table. Actually still have two picked out and have not put, pulled the trigger. So yeah, but I love the way this has turned out. And we will do a, another video of this area once everything is complete. Really, this is how this area is going to look. You just can't see all of that stuff over there because of this stuff right here. So yeah. All right, everyone, we are coming to the end of this video. I did go ahead and move the boxes out of the kitchen so you'll get a chance to see that area all cleaned up in this video as well. So thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed and you like these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button, turn your notification on so you'll be notified when I post videos. And feel free to like, share, and comment. It really does help my channel. And please stay tuned to the end. I did, like I said, go ahead and remove those boxes in the kitchen. And I have my little bunny propped up on the dining table. My plan is to move it outside and decorate our front porch so be on the lookout for that video as well and also be on the lookout for our bedroom refresh so if you enjoyed seeing my husband help me clean up the house just wait until you see him make the bed all right i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one have a great day Satisfying